Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven. Welcome back to Oda Treasure EDT. This is my channel where I show you my fragrance collecting here in Japan. I buy, I collect discontinued, vintage, rare, interesting fragrances. And I have one today that is a discontinued fragrance and it's not really rare. It's not a vintage fragrance yet. It's just a discontinued fragrance, recently discontinued from the house of Bulgari. So if you go back in my videos in episode 142, I showed you this one. This is one that I got here in Japan. This is a Bulgari Aqua set. I haven't opened it up, but this one has the original Bulgari Aqua and it has the discontinued awesome, my favorite one, Aqua Amara. And then it has the Aqua Marine inside. Now these are just, they're not minis, they're just small bottles there. Uh, 15 ml bottles. The minis are these even smaller. And I said, I wish this one had the Aqua Atlantique flanker included in this one. That would be awesome if it was Atlantique, Amara, and Marine, because those three have been discontinued. Aqua Amara, I knew that that was being discontinued like three years ago. They talked about that, and it was in the stores here in Japan. You could still buy it. And I think I asked one of the salespeople about it. Uh, one store I went to didn't have it, and they said, we, we can't order it anymore. So I knew it was on its way out. You couldn't get it anymore. This one is still readily available. You can still get this one all over the place. I mean, you can find these on eBay. This one on eBay, I think 100 ml is something like 100 bucks now, 100, $120. And a 50 ml is somewhere around 75, 80. I think they're that high. Maybe you can get a tester or a new one without the box for uh, less than that. And the prices are going up on this one, but this one is still kind of what it was, um, what it's always been. Something like, let's say 45, 50 bucks for a 50 ml, and then 100 ml, a little bit more, 60, 75 bucks. And that's gonna change. This one's really nice. This one, Marine, is really uh, like, it just smells like salt water and seaweed and florals. So this one really smells like the ocean. And this one less so, this is more of a, if you added a bitter orange to ocean air. The performance is fantastic on this one. Like I said, this is my favorite one. And the OG original Bulgari Aqua is all right too. It's just an aquatic fragrance. And this came out way before the whole blue craze that started with Blue de Chanel in the early 2010s. I think, I forgot when this one came out, maybe 2003, something like that. Performance is not great, but it is a great masculine aquatic scent for men. And in this video, though, it's not about this. It is about the Aqua Atlantique that I wish was in this set. So I found one, guys. I found a cheap one. You can buy these readily on eBay. I told you what they go for. Or they go for, now the price has gone up to what Aqua Amara sells for. But they're a little bit cheaper here in Japan because it's just not as in demand as they are in the Western world. All right, let's get it together here. Bulgari Aqua Parhom Atlantique. This is a 50 ml, and as you can see, it's sealed inside the plastic. And you know it was sold here in Japan because it has this sticker on it. In case you didn't know, all these new fragrances, these things sold here in Japan, have the sticker because Japanese people can't read all this stuff on it. You know, Japanese people can only read maybe the Bulgari emblem. They know the logo, but they can't read all the details about it. So then they look at the sticker and they can read in Japanese. But anyway, I got this really cheap. The seller was asking about $45 for this. I sent a message and, and said, are you in a hurry to sell it? Would you drop the price on it? And I ended up paying $35 for this, guys. 35 bucks for a sealed Aqua Atlantique. 50 ml. The 100 ml, I think people here are paying somewhere around 60 bucks for that. I think people, the people here know that this one is discontinued. The, uh, the Aqua Amaras go for a lot. People here know that these are discontinued. And people are asking about $80, $90 for 100 ml that's opened. A sealed one, people are asking like 100 bucks already for that. So the prices are starting to go up on these. And uh, yeah, this one's already reaching uh, Aqua Amara prices, but I was lucky with this and I got it quickly. The guy listed it and, you know, within uh, five to 10 minutes I bought it. So 
What does this one smell like? I really think that this one is underappreciated. The performance is awesome. The performance is on par with Aquamara. This thing lasts easily six, eight, maybe even 10 or 12 hours for some people. I can spray this on and still get whiffs of it in the air like six to eight hours later. This is your prototypical blue fragrance. This is a lot like Versace Dylan Blue. You know, when you get the opening scent of this one, you have that aquatic ambroxan scent. And then it dries down to something darker, woodier with patchouli. And this one, not as much. The dry down is not as dark as that. It's, it, it is more of an aquatic dry down. And like I said, it just reminds you. It, this is like, in my opinion, Versace Dylan Blue on steroids. That's how strong this thing is. Now, it puts a lot of people off. That's one of the negative things with this one and with Marine and, and this line. People, Some people complain that they get this harsh smell to this, like something like an egg smell to this thing. And luckily, I don't get that, that this is fine for me. If anything, like it is too strong. I'm not going to spray it on and take a deep whiff of a freshly sprayed Bulgari Aqua Amara or Atlantique because then you're just going to like blow your whole olfactory system to shreds right away. You want to let it dry down a little bit and just take a sniff of it. You don't have to bury your nose in a freshly sprayed cologne. It's just foolish. But I don't get that egg smell with this, so I'm pretty happy. Some people do, and that's too bad for them. Then they won't, they won't like this. They should just stick to Versace Dylan Blue. But for me, I get nothing out of Versace Dylan Blue. You know, I get the opening. The opening is pretty nice. That, that fresh ambroxan blue scent of the citrus and woods mixed together. But like in an hour or two hours, I don't smell it anymore. I don't really get the dry down much at all. And that one gets so much hype. And I'm not going to say people are crazy. It's just my certain, my skin chemistry and my olfactory, my nose. I just don't pick anything up from that. But this one, guys, this one for me is just a blue fragrance on steroids. Aqua Atlantique. This is awesome. This is probably my second favorite. First favorite, second favorite, third and fourth in the Bulgari Aqua line. So that's it for this video, guys. What do you think of Bulgari Aqua, the whole line? What do you think of Atlantique? What do you think of Amara Marine? Let me know in the comments. Say hello if you haven't already. And if you haven't, please subscribe to this channel if you like this content. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked this video. I hope you did. And uh, I have one more video to do right after this. And I have an interesting or a special announcement in that video. Some things are going to change. Not with the channel, but with my life. There's a little change coming. So I'm going to let you know about that in the next video. Hope you're having a great day out there, guys. Thanks for spending your time on the channel. Thanks for coming back. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.